Welcome, welcome. Just give it a few minutes. I know Beals was <clears throat> doing a broadcast, chatting up some baseball, and I have been on vacation the last nine, ten days or so, just getting back into the swing of things. So get some Howie Shanks games in today. So I think I'm ready to go. 516 on the schedule. Mudville a half game back. Looks like my team is in first for the time being. I'm going to take a look at some of the rosters. We've had Cleveland got beat up quite a bit. In fact, let me move over some of my pictures. My player photos. So let me check player photos. Let's go to this new league file that it's called BBMV. Well, let's take a look here. I'm gonna turn subfolders on. Then I'll drop all the photos in. Take a look and make sure there they are. So, got a few people joining up. Hey, hey, Beatles, glad to have you here. Um, interestingly enough, hey, I don't know if you're up for it, Beatles. Give me a thumbs up if you are. I can always Discord you in, and we can listen to both of us uh, jabber jaw a little bit while we uh, go through this. But what I did is, you'll notice all these injuries. So I activated so that he's got 25 available, Todd's team. And then what I did is, if you see, if you load his normal lineup versus left, see all these NAs. <laughs> Beatles is like, yeah, hey, yeah, let me hit you up. So let me figure out. Oh, yeah, where's my Discord? Let me grab Discord here. I'll ping Beatles and. Uh... Bring him into the mix. Hey, good to hear your voice again. Oh, my gosh. It's nice to be back. Um, yeah, man, boy, I missed a lot of action, but here we are at May 16th in the season. Amazing, huh? Awesome. And I'm looking at that Mudville team right there, a ga half game out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. It's Pop Lloyd, man. Pop Lloyd's doing it. Oh. Well, I'm going to show you what I did here to get around it. So I loaded up his number one versus left, right? And then... Look mm -hmm. at number two versus left. Number two versus left has those players covered. So I just I just made a, a number two. So meaning before I have the computer play his games, I'll probably load it up like and then okay. load the lineups and then let the computer finish it out. And the same thing for one versus right. You can see Maurer, Klazuski, Boyer. And then now if it's right. versus right, I made a number two. So the number two is versus left or right. Okay take care of that so we'll see how that goes surprisingly his team's been playing well look two games above 500 and with all of now those let's take a look at the league uh, here. injuries yeah. right <clears throat> yeah it's tight it's tight this league's tight steve you're you're leading the uh you're up there in the fielding it is tight um wow and that was weird One, two, all the three, all the other four, playthroughs five, we do that was Every you were running, you ran away with it a few times. Jersey did, Hawaii did. Now it's it's a tight, tight. I mean, it's early, but still. 
did I see the broadcast you did yesterday or the day before? I had a chance to watch it during work, and uh, MV came back on me and piled it on, like 13 runs. Yes, he did. Yeah, he killed you. 13-8 was the final score. Pitching getting beat up mm. in this league. So. Still, though, you're, 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 I mean, that was one of the best games on here, though, until, you know, he came back in extras. That was a tough game. Yeah. Both you guys. So let's see, let's see what we've got on. The, let's take a look at your team here. Oh, that's not my team. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Robbie has a potentially good team. I, mean, I don't know. Like, you know, no, I mean, Davy. Oh, I didn't know Davy Johnson was injured. Oops. He's injured, yeah, till 6-6. Six, six. So look at this. You got two more slots available you could bring up. So who do we want to make active? From these in, uh, you got Galarraga down till June and Davy Johnson. Which one of these IAs would you like to uh, make uh, well, active? I mean, I don't. Could you click and see who I have rated at second for one thing? Yeah, let's go to real stats. So you got <clears throat> Pep Young. You could bring in as a second baseman. I'm. I really don't have a choice. If you think about it, because I mean. I'm not going to move Pop Lloyd over to, yeah. to second. He's a shortstop. So, yeah, bring up Pep Young. Let's see how, how well she missed your Galarraga is a first baseman. You got a lot of first basemen, but I don't. You got George. Um, I got Cage, Jimmy Fox. Yeah, George Jimmy Case, Fox. Um, Ed Swartwood. Ed Abaticio. So, who, who gets yeah. the call up with. Um... So, Jimmy's my only. Is he my only first baseman? No, well, you've got Jimmy Fox. You, well, no, I mean sorry. active. Yeah, real well. Yeah. Er, Evans could play first, or we could activate Swartwood. He's an eight first baseman, <sighs> uh, lefty that bats three fifty seven. That might not be a bad. Yeah, let's let's activate him. Okay. There you go. Now you're good for uh, twenty five players. Take a look at everybody cool. else. See what I got going on. Do I have any? All, all mine are good. I just. I, I cannot figure out what's going on with Robbie's team. If you look at his roster, he's got he's got. A, I mean, his pitching isn't so good, but I mean, he's he's been stuck at yeah. six wins forever. Frisch will be back in a day, so that's not bad. What about mm -hmm. Jersey? How's this big clue team doing? Oh, they're good. Yeah, Lemoyne on a three-game winning streak. How cool! Uh, Cleveland, I just fixed Manchester. A Rod with a ten game, they all look good. Y looks good. Badlands twenty four. Hawaii's been on a slide though. Really? Well, because first week of the season they were they had a really strong start, but whew. I mean they're still in the in the race, but and again, still early. We're only what two weeks in, so. We are? Well, game calendar, we're actually six weeks in now. Because this game calendar is going to surpass the real calendar in about a week. Yes, indeed. Wow. Who should we watch here? Um, <laughs> I, yeah, because it's, it's today. No, no. I got a couple, my guy's got a couple days off. I think we got to watch this one. Jersey and Cleveland. Look how close these teams are. That works. You got and and Cleveland. You said we're already well. You'll you'll get their lineup in. I'm yep. just surprised how well they're doing with. I mean, riddled with injuries, they're getting killed. So let's set them to computer. So I wanted to ask you while we're. I mean, because this will help anybody watching. Mm -hmm. You got five watching. So I mean, I know how to get <clears throat> a screenshot. These parks and MLB the show, but how did you get them to yourself? How did An you app. do that? There's a PlayStation app, and uh, mm -hmm. it automatically, when you sign in, like any screenshots you take mm -hmm. in PlayStation, goes to the app, and then you just I pull up the app on my phone, phone, and then just email them to myself. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, thank you. Because I'm going to try my hand at the ballpark creator. I want to play around with that. I've oh, been yeah. messing with it, and it's kind of like wow. But I also got to learn how to use these classic ballparks in games. And um, Legends explained it last night, and it's something I would have missed if he hadn't told me. So thank you okay. for that.
You bet. Well, we got Russ Ford rested coming in, just checking to see if things look good. We have mm-hmm. uh, Doc McStuffins pitching, or uh, I think that's a kid's show. <laughs> it's funny. Is it Doc McStuffins? Oh, no, let's take a look here. It's Doc McJames. And, yeah, they're, everything looks good. What the heck? Do it. Oh, wait a minute. Bill Dolan is not a catcher. Continue. Hold on. I don't know. I don't know. We want Munson at catcher. Oh, you know what we want? Never right. He's a righty. Load two versus right. There we go. There we go. There we go. It's still shits. Okay, yeah. There you go. So Ferris Fane is the DH on this team. Yeah. And it makes sense. How's Suzuki doing? Remember, he would tear it up in all of our replays. How's he doing? Let's see here. Ah, 325. This is, this came out, this is a field I took. You can see I have the new logos up there from MLB The Show 23, but this is one I grabbed of uh, Mm. Cleveland's Park. Oh, it's nice. Nice. Looks, that's a great looking. Yeah, those parks are beautiful in that game. God. And and I want to do as you were talking about, then bring them into GIMP for Photoshop and get rid of the modern, like the MLB yeah. the show advertising. Over the do place, your own right? like cut and stuff. Well, here we got we got a triple leading things off. So uh, clue, I don't know. If clues here are watching. But uh, here we go. Chase Utley steps in. Ooh, first two batters on. What's this McJames done? Well, he's got. <laughs> He's 4-0 and on the season, so I shouldn't make fun of him. Yeah. So. He pitched a good game. The last time I played, uh, I think it was was uh, with Cleveland, he pitched a hell of a game, actually. Well, we've got bases <laughs> loaded, three batters up, three on. Jeez. Here this is weird because I can't hear the game sound. I have to keep YouTube muted. Oh, we'll cool. get back to this. Uh, here oh, comes good. Stormin Norman in the pitch. Oh, and, Wow. Some boos from the home crowd already. No out. We got one run that just walked in. Here's George Brett. Batting 407 in the replay. Yeah. Pretty impressive. See what he can do here. Oh. So McJames has walked in two runs. That's that hurts. Unless you're clue. Unless you're clue. Let's see what goes on here. Willie Wells sends a deep one out, deep, and it's off the wall. So we've got more runs coming in. He cleans the bases out. Oh, man. So on two hits, we've got five runs and no outs to kick this game off. What the heck is going on here? Woo. And here's Ed Bailey, hometown favorite. I think he was team captain for a while. For uh, Bailey's been heating it up lately. Wow. James, he's uh, he's getting he's getting murdered. He is getting murdered. This is a good hit ball. Hey, D. Scott makes the catch. O'Doul's one of the replacement players in the normal lineup here, along with Munson, who's a great backup. You got Mauer, and now mm-hmm. you have Munson can back him up. And then the move is Dolan, who's pretty much a backup to Yount, can play as an eight at third. So he he comes over for a Boyer at third. So. Really, with Cleveland, they've got some good players here to step in with the injuries. Oh, absolutely. And Big Clues welcoming you back, man. Hey, hey, thanks. Ooh, could have a double play and we're out of the inning. <laughs> that was tough, though. So we're through a half inning here, and uh, Clues got a 5 nothing lead. Some strange stuff. Hey, glad to be back, Clue. H- had a nice break. Um, been busy. Uh, at work and outside of work. So let's see how things go. Robin Yount. How Ford doing? Russ Ford. I think this is the ace of the Jersey staff. No clues mad because they, they double it got into a double play. Look at the <laughs> scoreboard, dude. You scored five runs on two hits in the first inning. And here's Yao. He ropes one into left field, so that's the first run. Could have an offensive game. J. 
Jackie Robinson. And he walks. Well, we definitely don't have to make these with a pitcher's duel here, do we? Yeah. Lefty Odile, you can see he's only got eight at bats, so he's pretty much been in a pinch hitting role. Not a bad uh, batter to bring in when you've got an injury. That's why this league's fun, as deep as the teams are. So it's down the right field line. Suzuki with the catch. And tagging is Yount. Here's the throw. Ooh, and he gets him. I have seen some throwouts. One of my yeah. runners got thrown out in the game you did a couple days ago. Um, the computer, uh, I think he's he's probably sending them anytime there's a plus 50% chance to go. Did you see Big Clue's... Uh... Little little observation. Chat. What to say? He says I read upwards that twenty percent of pet owners let their uh, pets sleep in their bed. I don't <laughs> recommend it though. That's how my goldfish died. No and MV is here. Oh my gosh. Good one, Clay. Now it's gonna good one. It's Clay. gonna devolve now. MV is here as it well is. And, and D Scott. Um D Scott. brings up a good point. Suzuki, ten range, ten arm. I think I've seen Suzuki in some past games that we've done throw some runners out. Oh, yeah. Well, here's Willie Mays, two out. Pitch from Ford. This one's hit hard. Delahanty makes the catch, and we're through one, five to nothing. And look at this. We're back at the top of the order for the Blue Claws. Here's McJames looking to settle down. Grounder. Great play by Robinson. Got one down. Utley, this is another fan favorite, and uh, Big Clue likes Utley. I think he's playing really good. It's a pitch. Sends this one out. Opposite field hit. Utley's aboard. One away. He's safe at first. Big. He had a grand slam in a uh, MLB, the Show 22 game I was playing the other night. Oh, did he? Hey, yeah. how are you liking uh, the show stuff? Are you getting the hang of oh, all the uh, rosters and all that? Love the games. I bought three editions of it, Steve, and I haven't even installed 23 yet. Just so you can get a lot of the uh, user-created content. Yeah. So ML. So the show 20 and 22 have tons. In fact, 20. It's crazy because it, like most of the names. The only thing that's driving me nuts about MLB the show 20 is Dan Plesac. What an idiot. Oh, I mean, it's. Yeah. I mean. The his, one I had yeah. was 21. 21's the one that I bought and played for a while. And then now I have 23. I haven't touched it in a couple of weeks. 22 is really good. It's got a lot of user created content. Oh, here's a deep only ball. 18 bucks, man. Oh, Maze. A web gem. That'll be on Sports Center tonight. Oh, yeah. We've got uh, two down for Storm and Norman. Uh, look at Norm Cash. Nine homers, 381. It's interesting to see, you know, some of the people that are doing above or below what's expected. Gabe Bruce is this below. One. Ooh, Heavy Johnson. Here we go. Buck Leonard up. Underperforming. I meant in uh, I meant in MLB the show big clue. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I just said Buck Leonard underperforming and, and he just play. bombs it. There comes the Black Lou Gehrig touch them all. Here comes the uh, injury riddled Cleveland team looking to uh, pull a win out here at home. Here's Thurman Munson. Brett up with it makes the play to cash. One away. Look at Heavy Johnson. He's got some good numbers. He does. Not great range. He can play. Uh, what can Heavy play? Let's take a look at Heavy. I love having that bat in there, though. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, he, they've been play, pretty much playing the right field. He could also play left first. He's rated at catcher. That He's played one game there, probably to give um, whoever the Maurer a rest. But uh, mm -hmm. a player I didn't know anything about before doing the Negro League files. Oh, Brett's up with it. Is it in time? It is. Two out. You see uh, Dave Cook released two more Negro League seasons. Three. Or was it, is it three? Yeah, I'm thinking and, about know, picking him up. Even with all the hard work you did, I want to pick him up to still support him, though, too. I have him because I'm a beta tester. That's one of the oh, luxuries. Nice. He sends some of those files out to check it out. The other thing I have to tell you um, that may 
after this game, I'll highlight it for you. It may have impacted some of our manager stuff not sticking, like it imported uh, manager Oh, the files. new patch. The new yeah, patch that wasn't that new patch. wasn't made available, I don't think. I think I only got it because I'm a beta tester. I think. Oh, okay. But it, it had like six or seven things it was going to fix, and one of them was some issue with manager imports. Oh, wow. So okay. I know you guys were trying to – were worried about maybe running into some issues, but – yeah. We'll see. Here's Ferris Fane. Not a lot of been a pinch hitter, but he's going to start now at DH with uh, the injuries here. Dribbler. Well, is coming in on it. Makes a poor play. I don't think he'd get his hand on that ball. We'll see what it is. Not a chance. Bad Bill Dolan. With the pitch. And Brett snags that line drive ends the inning. So after two, Jersey five, Cleveland one. Is there any lead in this league that is actually safe? No. I don't think Not so even either. yours, my friend. No. Not even yours, my friend. You had, I think in when terms I was... In of standings. Yeah, there's no... Like, even within a game, somebody's up six runs. It's nothing for a team with these players to come back. Well, you well, had you were up five runs on MV's team the other night, yeah. and that game we were talking about, and got beat by four or five, I think. Yep, you got beat by five. It was thirteen to eight. That's it. E five on Jackie Robinson. Let's take a little peek at him. Well, a little bit below average. He's made five errors already in twenty-eight games, so a little rusty out. So here's Willie Wells, big bat, great fielder, and he strikes out right on cue as I'm talking him up. Oh, Big Clue wants me to bench Fred Dunlap. I think Big Clue's mad because I have Dunlop and I've got him in the game. Clue, we could never get his manager to keep Dunlop in, in his lineup. Oh, right, because you have you have that Dunlap-Jackson tandem, right? Yeah, Jackson first, Dunlop second. It's great. Brett retreats to first. So we got two down. Monty Irvin up at the plate. McJames has kind of settled down. Keeping Brett close. There's the pitch. Hey, and Joe. Welcome. Irvin. Bum, 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 bum. Is out. Yeah. Uh, hey, so, Joe. You know, in Jackie's rookie year, he played. Um, he actually played first base when he first came to the Dodgers. He played. He was first baseman. Yeah, we've got the fifty-two. Yeah, the first baseman. And there were some years like this one. Uh, yeah, this is one where he's only rated second base. Uh, but there are some seasons Jackie where he played play some left field, too. first base, yeah. Um, yeah, third base, stuff like that. So here we go, Russ Ford. Yount, last time up, lined a single between third and short. Sends this one out to right field. Suzuki makes the catch. One second, see, I'm just going to go on mute for a you second. You got it. Oh, looks like a foul ball. So here's Robinson looking to make up for the error last inning. 306 on the year. Right, here's I'm a 1 2 pitch. Brett. Makes a great play in time with the throw. Two cash, and we got two down. And here's lefty O'Doul playing left field today. Russ Ford with the pitch. And he sends it there. Suzuki doesn't budge. Lands right in his glove. So welcome, Joe. I guess in my absence, we've got somebody else coming into the community. Um, we do. That's great. And actually, you meet Mark Roberts, too. He's he's a new guy in the community as well. Nice guy. Awesome. Glad to see other people. You know, it's kind of always nice mm -hmm. to realize there's maybe more than just a handful of us that get a kick out of this. Because exactly. then I can go tell my wife, hey, it's not just a handful of people. There's two handfuls of people that think this exactly. is Exactly. Two I'm herds not, of I'm geeks not crazy. now. <laughs> yeah, there's two. Yeah. Got two. We could fill a whole, you know. We get enough people, we could fill a sizzler someday for a get together or something. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the pitch. Murphy on the ground. Dolan over. Ooh, what happened? Drop ball. High throw. E5 on Bad Bill Dolan. Ooh. And Murphy's aboard. Look at that steal percentage for Murphy. Is, was he that good on the base pass? 
or does McJames have no hole? Oh, he has a two hold rating. So let's see what goes on here. He's off and running. And Dale Murphy with some speed steals a base, bringing up Suzuki. Oh, on the ground. Yow. 10 rating over to Leonard in time. On the fielder's choice, Murphy takes third, puts another running at another runner in scoring position. Oh, big clues. I, I remember those days, big clue. Uh, Bonanza, Ponderosa getting that $1.99 chop steak. I remember being a kid. And, oh, parents would take you out to Bonanza, the chop steak special. Here's Chase Utley. Looks like he's pulling this one foul into the stands. One, two. Oh, deep, deep. This might be deep enough to get that run home. Mays won't make the throw, and we got a 6-1 to one lead. Yes, Dale Murphy did, and I think his, his rookie baseball card had him listed as a catcher when they used to put the four pictures um, mm -hmm. on the card. Ed Delahanty steps in. McJames with the pitch, and this is rifled through the middle for a base hit. Bringing up Norm Cash. Norm Cash, I, this is probably one of, uh, let's take a look at what he's done here. 378, nine home runs. So. Cash is having Off a great running. season. Yeah, he is. Look at Delahanty trying to get, There's they can't pile enough runs on Clue's got these guys running all day long. Mm -hmm. And opposite field shot. Is that going to be enough? It is. Delahanty was moving on that pitch, and that'll get another run in to pad the lead. So we got a 7-1 to one ball game here. George Brett up. George Brett having a great season, too. Out to Heavy Johnson makes the catch, and that'll end the inning. So... Six-run lead here. Ace of the staff, Russ Ford. And here's Willie. He's having a good year, too. Cleveland looking to get back into it with his home crowd. Home crowd's quiet. Yeah, somebody's going to get plunked. Here comes Leonard. Oh, flies out to Suzuki for out number two. Brings up Thurman Munson. Thurman Munson, I think, has been doing a lot of DHing when Maurer does the catching. Not doing great. And right on cue, I get it wrong again. Lines just single up the middle. Anybody's interested, just really quickly, I'm on the because I just bought those Negro League seasons. So, guys, as usual, if you're an action PC player, and I know Steve and I a lot of times sound like a show for Dave Cook, but it's just it's a great game. And right now, sales on, on baseball season, guys, you know, jump in. There's some great prices here. Aren't they seven dollars and forty cents? Some of them are. Um, some I think of them the Negro are. leagues um, are on sale right now for seven bucks. Yep. Yeah. I just go, if you so if you're on the mailing list, do it um, or whatever. But I'm seeing seasons here for like nine dot nine fifty nine and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Uh, but a few modern baseball guys, yeah, you can get you to fill out your 80 seasons, for instance, mm -hmm. $9.59. I mean, you can't beat it. Or you can go spend $25 on PC replay baseball, I suppose. I can't believe why they charge some of that. that stuff. Oh, I don't know. And, and don't Clue, know. like, Clue's saying there, I got an email that he's going to be, I don't know what date, near Memorial Day, like into next week, they're going to have headquarters shut down for a few days. But there's great sales going on all the time. Oh, yeah. Here's a pitch, Heavy okay. Johnson. You don't have this game, why not? <laughs> exactly. Isn't that our motto? Don't we both say that a lot? It, it is. It is. It is. Um, oh, nice catch out there in right field. The great catch. So here we go. Through four, seven to one. And uh, Big Clue's looking to, uh, I know he wants to pile on as many oh, runs God. as possible. Yeah, you know, Clue, that's probably the best. And, and I know, Beatles, you know exactly what I'm talking about. With, with action, anytime you spend 100 they give you an extra 20 off. So I, I know. know you've been there. I've been there at $60 and gone, oh, hell, I'm spending 60 No, I'm spending 100 Exactly. And oh, yeah. 
it, it's addictive. And now, you know what's so sad? I have so many seasons, like the sales will come out, and I almost hurt inside that I can't. I'll look, and I'm like, I just have everything. I can't take advantage of some of the sales. Exactly. <laughs> and I almost want to buy them again just to feel like I took advantage of something. It's crazy. Here's Ed Bailey. Wells, leadoff runner on first. Now we got two. This is how McJames started the game. Uh, let's take a look. He's had uh, seven walks Oof. on the day. That's rough in this league. That yeah, last Irvin. game I did, he was pitching. He was sharp. Oh. Irvin, this should yeah. get another run home right here. And you guys are like you, Steve. Though. You you like you play other the other games that he puts out, or some of the other games yeah. he puts out too. So. I, you've spent way more money with him even than I have. I just buy baseball, so but still, I'm looking. I'm like, I have this. Uh, what am I gonna do? Yeah, these are the newest ones. MV the later he hadn't done it. These are, so these are what 46, 47, and 48. Yes, exactly. exactly. Here's the pitch to Murphy. Murphy sends this one deep. O'Doul stands at the wall, makes the catch. Bailey tags. It must have been deep enough <laughs> that Bailey could lay it out, and we got one away for Suzuki. Sends a fly ball out to Johnson. That's off the wall. That's going to get two home. And you know what? I uh, Didn't you make a command decision the other day? This McJames is horrible. I had to do that. I had to pull somebody from a team. I, I, yeah, I had to do it. Somebody was getting killed. Uh, I'm like, saying this, the same thing here. What, what do we got? This is it's horrible. You got to you gotta give him a hook. He's got to get hooked here. Let's see what do we got in the... Uh, straight up relievers here and nobody on short rest right yeah is Kluber in his is starting a rotation I know he's listed as a starting pitcher but I don't remember if Corey Kluber was actually in the starting rotation for Cleveland or not yeah I'm not sure here I'm gonna bring Maybe in he up to well. Earl Caldwell here not bad numbers actually And we got a pass ball, I think. What happened here? Man, a second, 12 months and lost it. Suzuki holds up at second. And we get another walk. These blowouts are the toughest to stream. Ugh. They are. Um, and I was hoping for one, and then all of a sudden, MV came back and blew me up. <laughs> so like, this game was good. Yeah, I was at work on a call watching that. Oh! A pass ball? Wild pitch on this one. And here's the fly. You know, the only thing, I haven't done it yet. I don't think you have. The one thing that you can do is we can go up there and just let the computer write it out if it's really that bad. But yeah, let's take an inning or two. Let's see if Cleveland can come back here. Yeah, I mean, you got a good little crowd here. Yep. Oh, Brett over to Cash in time. And, and big clue makes, if, if I may, just oh. a big clue me, and he's right. He says that um, fly ball to left and ranging to the corner, and there we go. He says, um, big clue has been getting better and better with his broadcast, and he has. And, he, and big clue says, so happy that um, MV decided to give it a try. MV, you're doing a brilliant job. You really I really are. like to compliment him, but he's here, so I'm, I'm going to refrain. But I know, I, 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 I understand. Agree. I do agree. Yeah, yeah. He 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 brings his own. <laughs> color and character to that to his broadcast well, you know it's, and, uh, yeah, the west virginians are good at that oh yeah. it's the passion that comes through um oh it does. it does and he actually pays attention to the game more than i do so there you oh. go <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have the good uh the interesting chat uh here's george brett 379 on the year sends this one out to right field heavy johnson makes the catch. So we got one down for Willie Wells. And he lines this one into the corner. Should be two. O'Doul's tracking it down and Wells gets aggressive and legs this one out for a triple. So Steve, here would be something to study like at the end before we go into the next draft. It's because right, the, the Negro Leaguers were using your Major League equivalencies, right? Yep. It would be interesting to see at the end of the season how they performed. I think this is a great acid test for those, don't you think? Oh, yeah, we could. Um, I do. 
because we're going to have several key starters there with Wells and who are the other ones, Josh Gibson and uh, Charleston and Pop Lloyd that are big time mm-hmm. starters on a lot of teams. We'll be able to see kind of how they match up in that top 20 in all the categories. Mm-hmm. Here's Bailey on the ground back to Caldwell, has the play to first. Wells holds. And here's Monty Irvin. Grounder, bad Bill has made an error today already. This one he handles cleanly. That'll get him out of the inning. So we got eleven to one game here. If there was a rally time, this would be it. <laughs> Come on, and Jackie. There's Jackie. Oh, boy. Russ Ford's looking tough today. The pitch to Odul. Odul. Base runner here for Willie Mays. Got eight home runs on the year. Pitch from Russ Ford and. Big clue just fired a shot across the bow of all the did Irish he? and the Welsh. Ooh. He did. Oh, Mays, he opposite did. field to the wall. Suzuki's going to track this one down. He's going to throw. The only play is the second as Mays. Stand-up triple for Willie Mays brings the second run home for the Cleveland Wild Things. And, folks, it's a nine-run lead, but it's not over. Here's Buck Leonard, who did um, hit a solo homer in the second inning. And what happened? Wild pitch. Wild pitch from Russ Ford, and now it's 11-3. Uh-oh. Big clues here, so... uh, let us know if we got to get that bullpen active for you, Big Clue. Yeah. He usually lets it ride out, though. Deep ball. Suzuki makes the catch. A web gem. We had a couple web gems today. One by Mays and one by Suzuki. So here's Thurman Munson, two down. Not doing a whole lot with the bat. And again, just right on cue when I say something disparaging, here they go. Mm-hmm. And Munson's in with a double. Yep, no Captain Hook with Clue. Everybody, you started it, you finish it. Oh, finish Bailey's it. checking the signs. They're worried about Johnson. A little blooper? No. Got enough to carry, and Suzuki makes the catch. we got to cut it to eight. We've you know, I eight. still can't believe that Robbie passed on Satchel Page. I think but Robbie was my drafting mind. from his phone and had zero or .5 patience that night. I think because I mean odd, uh, odd decisions. You can't pass on Satch. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. <sighs> Suzuki up the middle. Yount's got an easy play here. Uh, let me ask you while we're kind of uh, filling the time here. What surprised you about your Mudville team so far? Because I know you said in some of our earlier trials. They didn't fare as well, but I'm going to bet it has something to do with you giving up range in the outfield to get an extra bat. Yeah, absolutely. It is It is absolutely that. That, and, and again, Pop Lloyd is carrying the team. It's amazing. And my pitching doesn't suck as, thought, as, as bad as I thought it was going to. Well, no, and you're, you're in the top three I think I saw in fielding, so you've got mm-hmm. good fielders, even though you got, what, Foster in center and Keeler in left? Keeler and right. I think I have Keeler and right. Cobbs and right. I'm, I've got a visual oh. of watching your game. Dude. Okay. MV did one of your games, and I'm thinking. Yeah, it's a smart move. You get that. I mean, how can you have Keeler sitting on the bench? Can't. Cannot. Ferris Fain. One for two on the day. And make that two for three as he's aboard. So Fain stepping in and. All the injuries to this Cleveland team. Now we've got Bad Bill. He looks on the bench as far as pinch hitters. Albert Bell sitting there. Here's the pitch. Dolan sends it in. This is not over. What would, What are the odds? I mean, if we could estimate the odds right now, let's maybe do a poll. What are the odds that Cleveland could come back? What, single digits got to be, what, 45%? Yeah, but again, no lead safe, like you said. 
in this league, I wouldn't be comfortable even with an eight-run no. lead. I was watching MV the other day doing a, a, a game with my team, and it was like I was I was on the edge of my seat because we were up like two runs. I'm like, oh my god, and there were still two innings to go. Look at Clue comes in 14.8. I would put it about probably about 4.8 percent. MV coming in with the zero. Look at that. No faith. And here's an opposite field single. Is it going to score? No. They do not want to risk the out at the plate. Suzuki's thrown one runner out today. And we got bases loaded for Jackie Robinson. Caldwell's going to be key for Cleveland to keep Jersey quiet. Oh, Robinson hits this one. Going to be caught, but it should be enough if Fane tags. He does. that. Now we've got a seven-run lead and lefty O'Doul stepping. Uh, wave that big pink hand in the air like you just don't care, big clue, if you change your idea with riding forward. Here goes O'Doul, launches it to right. Way back, Suzuki's got it, makes the catch. Dolan tags. Another web gem play. So I think we've got two web gems by Suzuki out in right field, one by Mays. Seen some good Suzuki's outfield play. He's such a beast. Yeah, what a great leadoff hitter. I mean, the guy's on base is incredible, and he could, he's a great fielder. So here's oh, yeah. Willie. Gosh, what's the chance for a three-run? 1.3% chance for a home run, it says here. But Cleveland's due, I think. And up the middle, Murphy's bobbling it. Never understood why he was a 10 out in center field anyway, because none of the objective data backs that up. Always got a benefit because of his bat. Because you're putting him in DiMaggio and Duke oh, Snyder territory. I mean, come on. Yeah, the, uh, so here we go. We got two runners in scoring position. Now, if Buck Leonard comes through and makes this an 11-7 to game, we got a ball game. Yeah, we do. So, I'm looking. Here's the, the pitch. Two Buck so Leonard. Far. Leonard. Oh, this looks like a weak high fly ball in the infield. Wells should get it. A lot of drama. Makes the catch, and we have an out. Oh, we got Caldwell tired. So let's uh, oh. take a look at who else we've got. We've got starters here. Harry Krause has been in. Dick Raddatz. Um Kind of looking thin there, isn't it? Let's take a look at the Cleveland roster here. What's the rotation? Yeah, we, we can use, what's his name? Kluber's not in the normal rotation. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Why not just put so Corey we can, Kluber we in? we can display starters, and let's bring in uh, Kluber. You can ride the storm out as uh, that REO Speedwagon. Yeah, uh -huh. they were riding the storm out. Here's a pitch from Kluber coming in in relief. Fly ball out to Mays in center. Great range. Makes the throw. One away. Kluber said earlier. In the, he said earlier in the chat that Boston put Kluber in the pen now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, here's Clue's not done on the day. Norm Cash, Cash has played really good. Brett, I'm just looking at the averages in uh, relationship to what they did in the real year in we're looking good. Brett opposite field. So we got two aboard. Kluber is not going to make it easy here as Willie Wells steps in. 331 on the year, seven home runs. Great shortstop. And he lines us into right field. And guess what? Oh, Brett's going to steal. Try to steal an extra base. He goes into third. We got an error. Error number two um, on Johnson. Throwing error, E9. We're back. Got those two runs back quick. Here's Bailey. Probably get the run home. Mays makes an easy catch. No throw as well scores. So we're back up 14 to 5. What a trouncing. Here. And here's Thurman Munson. Teams are trying to hit, but Cleveland's just not getting them home. They each have 11 hits. Yeah. But if you know if Big Clue starts winning a lot early, it's just going to make it more dramatic uh, later in the season. Hmm. 
Here we go. Ground ball up the middle. Munson over. Boy, this game just doesn't want to end. Here's Ferris Fane. Crouch here, and it should get one run home at the cost of an out. Are you kidding me? Munson holes up. What kind of speeds this guy have? I'm curious. Oh, he's a four. Yeah, he's not nothing great, but they held him up. Here's bad Bill Dollar, and he strikes out. And yeah, Munson's not known for his legs, big clue, yeah. but still. Uh -oh. Game that, is not I over. Sent him. Delahanty chasing this one down. Poor play on it. Heavy Johnson comes in. And guess what, folks? We got two of the three runs back. It's a seven-run game. Jackie Robinson. Delahanty always comes through, man. Any any draft league I've ever played in. Wells over. Is this in time? Oh, just in time. That looked like it could be close, too. That looked close. So here we go. We're going to the ninth. No doubt Kluber wants to make quick work of this lineup, and that's not what he wants. But. High pop-up behind the plate. Munson, I don't know if he's going to be able to get this in fair territory. He might. And it's out of play. Here's Suzuki. He strikes out. Here comes Utley. He's walked twice, singled. We had a lot of at-bats in this game. His sixth plate appearance. And this should be an easy pop-up in the infield. Buck Leonard at first. Makes the catch. And we got two down for Delahanty. And it's a grounder. Yount. Good range. Up with the throw. And gets him just in time. To record the out. So no runs, no hits, no errors. It's been a while since we could say that. And... Hmm. Bottom of the ninth for Cleveland. Let's see what kind of options we got in there. Oh, Duel's the man. We do have some right-handed hitters in Mitchell and uh, Albert Bell, depending on what happens. I don't see Clue throwing. Uh, he's going to let Ford go all the way, right? A pitch. Oh, Murphy comes in on it, makes the catch. One down. Mays, two for four on the day. He's had a good game, a great catch out there. Now we're down to the last out for Buck. I just want to see the say, hey, kid, crank one, but not this time. How about Buck? On the ground, Utley makes the play. Oh, hold on. The game is not over. It's an E4 on Utley. Cash couldn't come up with it. Leonard takes second, and folks, let's see what we got here. Munson's a 1% chance. You know what I say? Let's let's give uh, Albert Bell, the hometown Cleveland player, a little bit better chance for a hit and twice as much of a chance for a home run. The pitch, and Bell hits this one. Out to left, Delahanty ends the game. And this one's in the books. Oof. Do we even want to look at the... Can you imagine the recap? Look at this recap. <laughs> look at this. It's crazy. But batting, who do we have out here? Standing out. We got three for four Wells with four RBIs. That looks like a batter. Um, pitching, Ford pitched a good game, but he did give up seven earned runs. So is that really a good game? I mean... Not if his team only scored five, it wouldn't have been, so. Caldwell got a plus on his stuff that didn't last long, did he? Good point on that. Yeah, no, he didn't. And um, he just got tired. Yeah, he did pity pretty good, but he had hit his pitch count. So here we go with uh, MVP Willie Wells. I'd have to agree with that. Oh, yeah. He's going to be asking for a raise next year if uh, Big Clue keeps it. <laughs> So let's take a look at what other... Yeah, I wanted to ask you about got. that. What are we... Because Big Clue had said that we weren't... What, what's our reserve rule going to be for the next draft? I mean, because I thought... I mean, that's something we could talk yeah. about. I mean, I think it's a, it's a cool idea <laughs> if we wanted to keep, like, two or three players or something like that. We've had people discuss it. But, you know, Clue's coming up with 
this idea that I think is even better than the one we have. Which teams. Is, teams. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because now it pinpoints your year and the team. So it that's gonna force less great, great, obvious seasons for players. You know what I mean? Right. That you know, we've already seen now in our trial league and this that we did the dot good in eighty five, the Mike Scott, you know, 86 and all that. But this is going to be different because you might get 1985, but you may not get the Mets or you may not get the Astros. So yeah, I you think might, or you get, right. as a whole different level of randomness that I think is, is going to be a blast to kind of expand the players that come into the league. Yeah, I was, when he, he gave me the message in Discord and said he talked to you, and I'm like, that's oh, brilliant. It is a brilliant idea, and I like it because it's going to make me dig deeper into franchises that I really don't know a lot about, or you yep. know, like anything past the original sixteen. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I think I just think it's another way to kind of expand on what we're doing here and get more variety mm -hmm. and less predictability. Because you know, if we keep doing this league over and over, it's going to be like whoever gets eighty-five. Well, guess what? There's always going to be eighty-five Gooden or yeah. eighty-six Mike Scott. This changes all that. And oh, yeah. it changes up some of the years for players where you may not know, like if you get a chance at Willie Mays, you, you may not get it. You know, if you get another year, you probably got maybe two or three chances. This one, you might only have one and done. Anybody right. that gets a giant year for him. I, I think it's uh, a good deal. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to yeah. take Badland and Des Moines, and then I, I may go on to the next day and we'll play another game on the 17th to see here. But let's see. Uh, well, what I'm going to do is bow out. I've, I'll have i probably be back while you're still doing the game. Cool. I'm going to bow out of Discord because I've got to run and have dinner. Did work today. Well, so. I, we might play your game then. We'll see who you're playing. What, what, let's take a peek right. at the 17th, what game I might feature here now. Um, oh, Mudville at Hawaii. That would be a good game. It is going to be a good game. I think I'm going to highlight uh, Leon that Day and Lefty Grove. Yes. That's I'm I'm in about two minutes. We're headed to that one. That's going to be fun. All right. Well, Steve, thanks a lot, man. You got uh, it, guys. At you um, later. I'm going to do KCCL tonight. Going to jump awesome. back into some dead. So. Awesome. All right, man. See you later, Steve. Good to have you back. You too, man. Bye. All right. See you later. Bye. And I agree, Big Clue. Your two cents too, because it's kind of apples and oranges if we go with that new way. Um, I think that takes care of pretty much all the variety we need. Sounds like a great idea. So let's go to Badlands and Des Moines here. Let's uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's auto that one. See what we get here. And we get a win by Louis Tiant. Take a look at the box score. Earl Averill, game MP. Badlands, Pounds, Des Moines. We've played this one. Let's go to North Sound in Hawaii. North Sound. What's funny is Hawaii 13 and 17. That's a little reverse. North Sound's playing really, really good. That would be D. Scott. Well, let's see what we get. Let's autoplay that. And what do we have here? It looks like Lefty Grove. Comes away with the, oh, look at this game. Goes into 10 innings, and Hawaii wins it one nothing. Take a look at the pitchers. Lefty Grove with the win. That's a heck of a pitcher's duel against Ramsey, Toad Ramsey. And we got one more on this day. That's, I got Saberhagen going against MV. Is MV still here? I don't know if it's bedtime yet in West Virginia. I think he is. Let's see how this one goes. And, oh, Saberhagen, take a look at the box score, gets the win. Oh, looks like I did a pouncing, a return pouncing on uh, MV, or my, my lead held up this time. He beats DeGrom, Clemens, and Schilling. Look at that. You got DeGrom and then Clemens and Schilling coming in in relief. Uh, Bryce Harper, five for five on the day. That's a big day. So here we go. That's now I'm going to move on to the 17th and let's fire up that Mudville at Hawaii. And let's play this game. And we are at the Polo Ground. 
questions. So let's take a look at um, our lineups here. We've got Day, and it says Lincecum. Take a look at this rotation. And yes, Lincecum is the free one. Oh, on Soto. It's, and take a look here. There's that Keeler, Cobb, Pop Lloyd, George Foster playing center field uh, lineup. So let's have some fun with this one. Yeah, DeGrom got killed, MV. You're going to have to console him after that one. Not only will each team owner have 30 unique years on their roster, but also 30 unique franchises. That's pretty cool. All right, D. Scott, thanks for tuning in. Play ball! So let's see what we got. Tim Lincecum on the mound. Here's the pitch. We will eat Keeler strikes out. Keeler on the year. Great move by MV to bring, or I mean, MV up. Beatles to bring in and kind of get that extra bat in that lineup. And here's Ty Cobb underperforming on the year, 256. Lincecum gets him to ground to first. Gentile over on the bag, and he's out. So here's Pop Lloyd killing it this year. His OPS is higher. He's batting 402. This is the leader for Beatles team. And here's the pitch to Lloyd. Lloyd on the ground. Gentile grabs it, makes the play himself for the second out, or for the third out, and that'll end the inning. So here is Juan Soto, another one that's playing outstanding, a 406 hitter on the year. Leadoff for Hawaii. And he leads off with a single to right, and he is aboard for. Speaker of the House, Tip O'Neill. Two ninety four, a little underperforming that four thirty five average. Let's see what Tip does. Tip rounds this up the middle. Young in for second base takes the toss from Lloyd, gets it over in time, and we got two away. And here's Oscar Charleston. Another two seventy one is a little bit underperforming. And here's the pitch. Charleston sends this one to right. And right on cue, when I say something disparaging, the player proves me wrong. And we got a 1 0 lead as Hawaii takes advantage of that solo shot by Oscar Charleston. So here's Leon Day. 3 and 3 on the year. 4 3 3 ERA has got to be pretty good in our league because there's some runs getting piled on here. Um. See what we have here. Here's Calavito. And he strikes out. Lincecum, 1 and 2 on the year, an 8.81 ERA. Looking to settle down early in the season. And Fox lines this one up the middle. He's aboard with a hit. For Babe Ruth, I know Beatles mentioned that Ruth really underperforming, 233. Let's see what this matchup with Lincecum is. Yields and it's a strikeout. And here's George Foster, center fielder, underperforming with the bat. Jimmy Fox takes off and is caught stealing. Aggressive base running there by the uh, manager, and that'll end the inning. But they do have. Uh, an opportunity kind of wasted with a base runner, and that'll be one nothing Hawaii as we come back to the bottom of the first. So here's Jim Gentile, first baseman. Ooh, pulls this one down the right field line foul. One two pitch, and here's a catch by Cobb. Makes the first out of the inning, and here's Napoleon Lajoway stepping up. Another underperforming hitter for Hawaii. So we can see they've got some players on this team, but none of them are living up to their potential yet. 
Here's the pitch to Lajue. Lajue looks like uh, lined it down the first baseline, hit the bag, and it's a race, and they get him. So that brings up Al Rosen, power hitting third baseman for Hawaii. Grounds it to third. Dwight, or uh, Dwight. Darrell Evans up, makes the play over to first, and he is out. So through two, we got a one nothing Hawaii game. Yeah, Clue saying he can't underperform unless he turns into Joey. Well, we'll see. Evans strikes out. Lincecum's looking good. Uh, here's Pep Young. This is a call-up for Beatles based on some of the injuries he's been facing. And there's a strikeout. So two down, Yadier Molina. Known not really for his hitting, but his great fielding. Here's the pitch, and Molina sends this out to center. Oscar Charleston, great range out there, makes the catch. Ends the inning. So bottom of the third coming up with Mike Giappasai. 281 hitter. Ten homers already. Hall of Famer. The pitch, and Leon Day walks it. Bringing up shortstop, Cal Ripken. The number nine hitter for this Hawaii team. Ripken strikes out. So here's Juan Soto, the human walk machine or on-base machine. Pitch to Soto. Soto sends this one out to right. Cobb, easy play. Piazza heads back to first, and we've got two down for Tip O'Neill. The pitch, and O'Neill sends this in the corner. Piazza's round in second, headed to third. Looks like he's going to be able to score from third easy. O'Neill's going to try his luck to third and gets in just ahead of the tap. So, a run on Tip O'Neill's uh, triple. That brings up Oscar Charleston. Two to no, nothing game right now. And Charleston delivers single. That'll bring in the third run. And he's aboard at first with a single to right field. Rocky Calavito stepping in. There's the pitch. Charleston on the move. And he steals that one easy. Eight steal on the year for Charleston. Calavito steps in. One strike on it. He sends this one to left field. Oh! Calavito launches it out of here on the line drive shot to that short left field. 285 feet. It's like playing softball. And it's a goner. So we've got a 5 nothing game. And ground ball. Young's got it. Over to Fox. Makes the catch. And the side's retired. So Hawaii 5, Mudville 0. Played 3. Lincecum looking good early. Here's Wee Willie Keeler batting 296 on the year. Leadoff hitter for Mudville. Flies out to center. Charleston makes an easy play. Bringing up Ty Cobb. Cobb, grounder, Lajaway over to Gentile. Gets him in time. And here comes Pop Lloyd, the captain of the uh, Mudville Nines. And he comes through with a single. He's aboard. And that brings up Jimmy Fox. Fox on the year 11 home runs, batting 331. And he strikes out. So, wow, Lincecum's looked really good. Lajue. Grounded out his last time up. Here's the pitch. Lines this one. Ruth makes the catch. Does he? Oh, got a late jump on it, and it fell right in front. Ruth not as nimble as he once was, apparently, and Lajue's on board with a single. Here's the pitch. Al Rosen strikes out. Let's take a look at Piazza. He's got a 9.8% chance for a home run. 
Here's the pitch, and it's a grounder. Pep Young over with it. It's going to get the play at first. Lajoie takes second. And here's Cal Ripken, the number nine hitter. Shortstop. The pitch, and the ground ball. Evans up with it, and in time for the third out. And after four complete, still 5 nothing. Hawaii. Here's that underperforming Ruth. Take a look at what uh, the numbers are. 7.6% chance for a uh, home run here. And it's a strikeout. So Lincecum is really dealing today. Facing some home run power in this lineup with uh, Ruth, Fox, George Foster. Here's the pitch. Foster, liner. Al Rosen snags it. That's two away. And here's Daryl Evans. Got seven homers on the year. Um, interestingly enough, we look at Daryl Evans here. Holding down third base. But this team also has a Miguel Cabrera uh, player here. Not getting a ton of at-bats. But um, Beatles going with that lefty bat in the lineup. Base in Lincecum, and it right back to Lincecum, he makes the play, and the inning is over. Pretty easy inning there. And Hawaii brings up the top of their order with Juan Soto batting over 400. Hardy is one for two today. The pitch. Soto sends this one into right field, and as predicted, like MV says, they're on base machines. Tip O'Neill had a triple his last time up. This time lines it. Evan snags it. And we got one away for the big O, Oscar Charleston. Charleston sends this one out to Ruth. Ruth standing still. Watches it into the glove. And we've got two down for Rocky Calavito. Little underwhelming numbers with the bat. Here's the pitch, and he sends this one into left field. He's safe. Soto holds it second. No! Soto decides to test that arm and beats the tag as Ruth gets it into Evans a little late. And here's the pitch to Gentile. So Gentile sends this one, a liner, into right center, clears the bases, Another home run, and we got an 8 nothing game. 265 feet. Not the lengthiest home runs you'll see, but this park down the lines is pretty short. So, Lajaway looking to add on here. Grounder to Evans. Evans is up with it and makes the play. Gets out of the inning, so MV says this one is over. It might be. We'll keep an eye on uh, the pitcher there. And Pep Young draws the wall. Mudville, a half a game out of first coming into today. And just can't put it together. So Ripken turns a double play there. Clears the bases. And here's Wee Willie Keeler. DH for this team. And he sends it into right field. He's aboard, so with two out. Up comes Ty Cobb. And the inning is not over, folks. We got two runners on for MVP candidate Pop Lloyd. Lincecum delivers. Lloyd sends this out to center. Charleston ranging in, makes the catch. That'll end this, the threat. No runs. Left a couple runners stranded after two hits. So here's Al Rosen. Hawaii is just pounding Leon Day right now. And uh, what do we got here for? Do we debt let Well, why bring another pitcher in and waste him? Here's the pitch to Piazza. Piazza sends this one down the line. 
Ruth over in foul territory, makes the catch, has enough room, gets it back in, and we've got one down. Cal Ripken. Not batting great this year, and right when I say that, on cue, he sends one into the left field stands, and we got a 10 nothing ball game here with Juan Soto stepping up. Soto, young over, gets by him. Soto is on base, so... Day is strong, it says. Well, yeah, he's got a lot of stamina if he was pitching batting practice. Uh, that's what it appears here. Here's one on the ground, Lloyd DeYoung. Young. Young makes the pivot. Fox has it, and they're out of that inning. So he's strong, but he's given up a ton of runs. So here's Winsicum looking pretty good today. Didn't come into the game with any kind of good numbers, but. Really pitched great today. Here's Jimmy Fox. Takes that pitch. And you can kiss it goodbye. We've had some home runs here today. And guess what? It's not a shutout as Jimmy Fox gets Mudville their first run of the game. And here's Babe Ruth looking to keep things alive. And he does with a single in the left. And we have an injury. Ruth turned an ankle and is out for the day. And if he turned his ankle and is out for the day, why is he in the game? Let's see. Yeah, that's a weird uh, phenomenon there. So it, Ruth is out. So Ruth is in left field. Who would play left field? And here we go. Ed Swartward activated just before this game is in. And here is Daryl Evans. And he strikes out. Pep Young steps up with one away, looking to get some runs on the board here. And this one gets through. Runner will hold it third, and the bases are loaded. One away for Yadier Molina. Piazza getting the signal right with uh, Lincecum. A little worried here. And they'll walk in the second run for Mudville, proving that the game is not over. Here's Wee Willie. Willie sends this one into right field. We've got a base runner. Oh, he's going to hold it third. Base is loaded. Tim Lincecum showing red. Um, tell me what you think, MV. Do we uh, do we let Lincecum, Lincecum go or do we uh, pull him? I don't know. Maybe one more batter. I mean, it is a seven-run game. Let it go one more batter here. Winsicum, Cobb. Cobb on the ground. Gentile gets it. Going to get the runner at second. Cobb takes first. And so we got two away. So, yeah, let's see who maybe isn't a starter. Let's take a look at Mudville roster. Mudville. So we got spot starters Webb and May. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong damn team. We got Lundgren, Tau. Oh, Mullane. Bring in Tony Mullane. He can eat up innings, and he's a good pitcher. So here's the pitch to Pop Lloyd. Lloyd draws a walk. So Mudville isn't dying. We've got uh, big hitter Jimmy Fox, who has already hit a solo homer his last time up. And here's the pitch to Fox. And Fox sends this one into left field. This is going to get one, maybe two. It will get two run homes. Hey, Legends, welcome. 
And we got a 10 to 6 game, a six run inning here for Mudville when all look in hand for Hawaii. So here's Ed Swartwood, left handed batter, stepping in. And he sends this into the right field. Calavito ranging over. Lloyd should have an easy jog into the home plate. Uh, Swartwood's going for three, and the call is safe with the triple. We Unbelievable, folks. We have an eight-run inning here for Mudville, and it is 10-8. to eight, And I believe a few innings ago, MV said it's over. But the fat lady did not sing. So here's Tony Mullane. Foster steps in, and he sends this one out to Charleston. Looks like he's going to have an easy grab. And guess what? We're at the seventh inning stretch, and we got a ball game. And here is Oscar Charleston stepping in. Charleston pops this one up in the infield. Boyd looks like it should be an easy play for him. Makes the catch, and we got one away. And here's Rocky Calavito. The pitch from Day. And all the way back, he's got it over, and there we go. So now that we've got Day, we'll have to keep our eye on him. And the computer gives a free pass. Here's the pitch to Lajoie. Lajoie sends this one out. Deep, deep ball. And O'Neill makes the catch. Let's Calavito tag. And we've got two down for Al Rosen, who fouls this one away on a two-strike pitch. 0-2 oh, pitch from Day. And Rosen up the middle. Throw in time. So here we go. Tony Mullane in. Daryl Evans, the batter. And Evans comes through with a single. Oh no, it looks like he's going to stretch this into a triple. And Daryl Evans is safe at third. This game is not over, folks. See, Pepe Young. Well, so they got it second base here. If we have to do any pinch hitting. Here's the pitch. Tony Mullane. Pep Young. This might get a run home. We could have a one run game. It's a fly out to center. Unbelievable. Daryl Evans still standing at third. Yadier Molina steps in. And doesn't matter. He'll get the run home. Looks like he's going to get a double. Calavito makes a poor play, gets it back in, not before Molina is safe at second. And we've got a 10-9 game. This one is not over. Here's Wee Willie. Keeler on the ground. Cal Ripken up with it. One play over to first. Molina holds it second. And this brings Ty Cobb up. Tying run at second. The pitch from Mullane, and this one's out in the center. Charleston with the catch, ends the inning and the threat. It's a one-run game. Day appears strong, but we'll keep him on a short leash here. Evans with the play. He's up. Fires it. E5. The throw pulled Fox off the bag, and Piazza is safe at first. And here is a walk. So we'll keep an eye on. Dave can go 150 pitches here. Molina's trying to get the sign straight. Don't want to mess up at this late part. And they decide to go ahead and walk the bases loaded for Tip O'Neill. And it looks like they're going to bring in the corner, a third. And this little looper goes right by Evans and will score. Two runs, and now it's 12 to 9. And here's the pitch. Charleston on the ground. Lloyd might have two over to Young in time. And they get that second out. So 
pitch. Calavito walks. Interesting that Day is Day is the guy. It's like Clue is the uh, bullpen manager here for Leon Day. And here comes the throw. Calavito getting aggressive. And Gentile behind him. That will be an error on Cobb. And that's enough for Leon Day. Lajaway steps in. Rudy May with the pitch, and he gets the out. And here is Tony Mullane looking to lock it down. Uh, four runs to make up here for Pop Lloyd and team. And Lloyd's going to lead it off with a single, just what the doctor ordered. So Fox is up. He's got a single and a solo home, or two singles in the home run on the day. Big bat. And he lines this one into right. Got first two runners aboard, his fourth hit of the day. And here's Ed Swartward. And Swartward sends this one. There's no game safe. We've got the bases loaded. Unbelievable at this game. So uh, George Foster stepping in. All right handed players on this uh, Mudville team, pretty much. Here's the pitch from Mullane. And Mullane gets that strikeout. So here's Evans. What's he done today? He's had a triple his last time up. And this time he draws a crucial walk, pulls him within three, and this we now have the winning run standing at the plate in Pep Young, who's kind of a weak hitter. I'm going to say... We should probably sub in somebody like uh, Miguel Cabrera in a situation like this for Pep Young, a little stronger hitter, do or die time. And here's the pitch from Mullane. And ground ball, Ripken ranges over to Lajue, over to Gentile, and so much for that move. Miguel Cabrera grounds into it, but we came came down to the last at bat in a game that at one time, at one time, was ten to nothing after six innings. A lot more excitement than we knew subsequent to that sixth inning. So again, let's look at this recap. Do we even have time to read all this stuff? Crazy recap. Batting, four for five, Jimmy Fox. Soto hit three, Calavito hit three, Gentile had four RBIs. What a game. Take a look at the pitching. It was atrocious. Other than Rudy Mays one inning there. Uh, Day gave up a ton. I have no idea why the computer wanted to keep him in that long before he was read. Um, of course, I don't know what Beatles settings are in. To, to yank pitchers and, and things like that. And supposedly he had plus stuff. Go figure. MVP Jim Gentile with his four RBIs. So there we go. We have a couple games to figure out here. So we've got uh, Badlands at Cleveland. Let's auto play this, see what we have. We have Cleveland just a game above 500, and now they are 500 as Badlands. Uh, Rube Waddell gets a win. Uh, Manchester and Arlington. Ooh, let's save that because this. Uh, <laughs> I know MV doesn't want to lose to that Arlington team, so let's just savor that one a little bit. So we got Jersey at Des Moines, two teams uh, battling out uh, on the year. Auto play that and. It looks like did Jersey just get a win? This Jersey team, 10 to 6, gets a win. George Brett, the MVP. Goes two for three with three RBI. So big clues team, 21 and 14 now. Um, here goes North Sound, uh, D. Scott's team. 
playing great, 18 and 14 right now. And um, I've got Gibson, who's four and three, not a little mix on Gibson, hit or miss. Let's see what happens in this game. And we get a win, but it's not Gibson. So there must have been a tie at some point. Let's see. And it looks like, oh, yeah, we go uh, into the ninth inning and Britain comes in in relief. It's like a close game here, eight to seven. Dave Concepcion, the MVP. What happened? Oh, he got two hits and two RBIs. There's a surprise. And Gibson, uh, six earned runs. Man, they, a lot of runs given up in this league. The other thing, we're going to see a lot less of these crazy numbers, I believe, with the new draft approach. It's going to be fun. So here we go. We've just got... Uh, We've got all our boxes. We're down to Manchester Arlington. Do we have? I'm going to pause here for a minute. We've got Zach Grinky against Weedman. Weedman is 0 and 7 on the year. If this was a game Grinky should win, I think this is it. Um, but I know Manchester is slightly worried because they don't want to lose this game. So let's see what happens. And they don't. Take a look at what happened here. Granke gets the win. Weedman goes the distance again. He's 0-8. Atrocious. Yeah, D. Scott, you were a few games above 500 and had a couple bad losses here today. Take a look at miscellaneous. Josh Gibson with the game-winning RBI and John Donaldson comes through. Manchester with Lofton in center field. Goes four for five. Oh, Manchester's doing some tweaking, I see. He's doing a different th sets of three <laughs> three now. Um, yeah, this I don't know what to say about Arlington. So I guess I won't say anything. They're six and 25. So let's take a look at where we're at. And... Uh, I'm going to wait for you here, MV. Should I send you just export the games? Because I just loaded in your file here. The reason I say that is because I went and reactivated a few players here for Cleveland. Oh, the BBX, you got it so that they would have 25 players to help cover them. So let's do this. Let's take a look at the league leaders. Soto, back up for Hawaii, leading the league. Soto also leading the league in home runs from the leadoff spot. Pop Lloyd up there in RBIs. Anything stand out here? All right, MV, I'll wait for you. I think you got some news coming my way or a request. Yes. Ha! D, D, D Scott, our bags are packed for the next trip to Arlington. Can we stay down there for a month? Guaranteed. Um, no, my team batting's doing good. North South, uh, look at your team pitching, D Scott. You, you are leading the league in ERA with 4.17, and Mudville's right behind. I don't know if we would have known that from the game we saw from Mudville, but they're right there. Norm Cash, MVP of the league so far. So interesting. So let's take a look at Cleveland, and I'll show you what I did, MV, if you want to. Um, I'll tell you what, I, what you can do. I, because of these injuries, at least it'll be good for another week or two till Boyer comes back. If you look, I activated so he has 25 players. And if you play games with him, what I did to his lineup is I can load his regular one. You'll see has all the not availables. I have a number two left-handed that has his replacement players. And the same thing that if it goes to load for his games, the normal one, and they got the three conflicts, I saved the number two versus right and left to be what can be used. So if I go into his manager 
and just set it to use number two and number two. And hit OK. And then I'm going to export his managers. And then MV, I will tell you. Um, oh, yeah. And MV, here's what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll send you the league file. That way those things will stick. And what I'm going to do is go under rules and I'm going to get rid, because I know you don't like this. I'm going to get rid of the subfolder for you because that's the way it was. And MV, what would you like me to name this? I guess I can just leave the date here and then you can change it and import it and let it be whatever you want. Daddy too. And it seems to me that you're probably using your main photo pool so that whatever league you use, it goes to there for photos. So I uncheck the um, look in the subfolder for this file so it shouldn't mess you up. It should just work fine. Um, BBMV Daddy. So let me go over here to the seasons. BBMV Daddy. And then we've got number two sitting there. There it is. Daddy two. Copy. And... Um, I'm going to go over to our BBX file in, in Geek Squad here. It's all yours, MV. Hopefully that'll work. You're next up, I think. I could be wrong, but we'll see. And let me just double check my help. Yeah, I'm using this 525 patch that... Um, was sent to me and let me pull it up now maybe I can give you an idea of what they claim was fixed in that so here's what they claim to fix right here so potential issue on imported manager files so what's interesting is maybe somebody else had reported that um, some chalkboard injury displays that I've seen myself where sometimes um, the player displays a little bit wonky. Some adjustments to computer manager, link synchronization tool, quick play, minor box play, adjustments to Negro League play, and a rare lineup configuration error. So <clears throat> this isn't available publicly. I think those of us that are beta testers got this May 24th. So I applied it. It may be that some of the weird stuff that I think you had reported like on importing managers and them not sticking or whatever. It looks like it may have been fixed in this patch that's being tested right now. So sounds good. I'm going to bail here. I got time to go eat dinner and do some stuff, but it's nice getting back in the swing of things. Glad everybody could join us here. Uh, big thanks to you know, Legends popped in, MV and The Clue. And of course, Beatles was here and D. Scott. Um, and we've got some new folks in the community. Joe Murdy was here. Um, good to see him showing up. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to have some time over the weekend, hopefully maybe to pay attention to some live broadcasts, but just been really, really busy. But um, yeah, glad to be back. So hey, I'll see you all down the road. And thanks for uh, showing up today. And here we are. Uh, take a look at the next games we're looking at here. If MV picks up. Got some good ones. So we've got some switcheroos here. I've got D. Scott. You and I are going to get to uh, Scott and Koufax uh, deal. Look, Hubble and Carlton for Jersey and Des Moines. Um, Alexander against Dave Rigetti, of all people, with Mudville and Hawaii. Um, interesting stuff. And Manchester, uh, 
might enjoy the road cooking down in Arlington. So good stuff to look forward to. So take care, everyone, and we'll see you down the road.